Well, hello everybody. My name is Sean McDonald. I'm a Vancouver-based actor and playwright. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about process and playwriting. Um, I have decided to do something that I've never done before, and that is to write an original musical, to write the book for an original musical. Now I have uh, collaborated on uh, a musical that was based on source material, based on a book by Rick Antonson. I've been collaborating with him for a little while. And during that process, I got to work with the amazing Robert McQueen, who taught me a lot uh, about uh, generating material for lyrics based on his experience working both at the musical stage in Toronto and also when he worked at HB Studio in New York. And I also got to work with a theater director named Anne Hodges, uh, who directed The Wedding Party for the Arts Club recently. And um, I worked with her on the development process for uh, a new opera based on a book called Wild Dogs, and the librettist was Val Brandt. And um, through that process, both of were working with Robert and working with Val and Anne, I learned about how a lot of musical theater creators generate um, lyrical content. And that's, they start by really approaching it more like prose, writing monologue material, writing it like it's a standard play, and then slowly over the course of the development process, shaping that content into the libretto or the book for the musical. And so that's what I'm doing with this project. I'm writing a piece about mental health struggles. I've created a character named Jeremy who's in his early 40s, who's been struggling with a sort of, you know, a serious anxiety, depression disorder through most of his adult life, and uh, has decided to seek some counseling and therapy uh, based on advice, uh, recommendation from a friend of his, this new fancy therapist who apparently works wonders with people with mental health struggles and allows them to cut back a little bit on their medication, which is something that Jeremy has wanted to do for a long time. So I'm drawing from my own interest in mental health struggles, um, some of my own struggles that I've had over the course of my adult life. And um, also I'm interested in personality disorders. So there's a character with a personality disorder with a narcissism um, in this play as well. So um, anyway, um, that's sort of the, 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 the nuts and bolts of what the story is. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read a monologue that I wrote for Jeremy. It's his first therapy session with Dr. Bell, who is this uh, sort of magical therapist that he decides to go see. And Dr. Bell is sort of prodding Jeremy to, to, to tell him more about who he is. And Jeremy's a little bit resistant. So I'm gonna read that and then uh, maybe talk a little bit more um, after that. What do you know? You don't know me. This is me, you know, the me I've been living with for all of my life. I know me, you don't. I just want to sleep. That's all I really want, to just lie in bed and try to sleep and drift in and out of thinking about things to letting my mind decide what to focus on. That's it, that's all, just that. I mean, yes, I do more than that. I get up sometimes, I walk around and force myself to eat something and stand in the shower for a while until I remember something else to do that other people do that I should do or they say I should do, but who cares? <laughs> Big deal, that's not what I want, not me, but I do it anyway. That's all this is, just a bunch of me doing things I don't want just because they say you say I should do things, but really, I'd rather sleep. I'm uncomfortable all of the time, I just am. I'm anxious and always have been. I just am. That's me. And when I started to talk about it, when it started to take over and was really, you know, a problem, and they asked me at the time, they said, when did this start? When did you notice this being an issue for you? So I thought, and I couldn't remember. I couldn't identify the moment or place, and it bugged me because they wanted an answer, and I felt so stupid not knowing, not able to tell them. I wanted to help. And then I realized... I've always been anxious, like always. I've always felt weird and upset and uncomfortable. That's just me, I'm afraid. And I am, I'm afraid. I'm uncomfortable in a group, in a crowd, or with even one person or two, I just am. I'm uncomfortable when I'm alone in my place, trying to draw something to do. And for years I got by just pretending that I was all right, just making the effort to smile, be polite, and pretend that I'm normal, that everything's fine, make a joke, nod my head, look concerned, like I'm interested, when all of that time, 
And there's a bubble inside getting bigger and thinner, taking up all of the space and making a hollow right here in my gut. And it trembles and rumbles and I'm scared if it bursts. My heart will collapse with it and I'll have like a seizure and be so embarrassed, completely humiliated. So yeah, that's me. This is me. And that's who I am. I always have been like this. And that's when it started. It started forever ago. What's interesting to me is how this process allows the writer to just dive really deeply into what's going on um, emotionally uh, for the characters, really tap into what they're fighting for, and write from that place, um, and generate a whole bunch of material that they can then go back and shape into song content. I think it just makes so much more sense because the heart and soul of the character can live within that framework and you don't get bogged down with um the externals like the rhythm of a song or how a song should or the feel of a song or the rhyme of a song or the sort of stanzaic structure of a song you don't have to think about that you add that later but what you get is the goal to get the nugget of the core of the character um and i think that's what's exciting and that's certainly um what's going on for me with this writing right now uh, I, I think maybe you could hear some of the sort of rhythmic stuff that is just naturally flowing into the writing. And there's like a few little bits of rhyme here and there. So it'll be exciting for me to complete the whole piece and then go back and shape this content into songs. Like monologues can be songs or sections of dialogue can be songs. And then I do imagine this piece being more or less sung through, having mostly song material, um, musical material, and then, you know, little bits of dialogue um, here and there throughout the course of the piece. Um, I don't have a composer yet, so this is very early days, um, but I am excited um, by just uh, trying to uh, write this piece in a completely different way. So thanks for listening. Be well, stay strong, stay safe, much love. Our Silver Commissions program is an opportunity for the Arts Club to commission new exciting scripts from BC playwrights. This is the 10th year that we've been producing those scripts on our stages and we're really, really excited about this program. It wouldn't be possible without the tremendous support of Stan and Kathy Hamilton, who through both an endowment and annual gifts have been incredible supporters of this program and of new work at the Arts Club for years now. We're also tremendously grateful to BMO and IA Financial for the support they've given to our digital content over the past few months.